Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to put text on path and also a few tricks that you might find useful and in the next tutorial I'll show you how to put complex vector graphics on a path and I'm recording this live with no editing so if I make a mistake or say something stupid I apologize in advance. Now the first thing we need to grab this tool holding down the control key I'm going to create a circle make it a little bit bigger and then with the fill and stroke tool I'm going to remove the fill and apply a stroke next I need to go to path object to path and now it's time to create the text with the text tool click let's say something like this make this bigger also with the T key you can access the text tool and let's change the font to let's say this one for you to see better adjust the size a little bit now next thing holding down the shift key I'm going to select the circle go to text put on path now you see how our text was applied and if I try to rotate it you see what's going to happen Control Z to undo this. Now, a trick which you can use to make sure this text is orbiting around the path, along the path, you can select the path here, the circle, hold down the shift and the control key, undo this, control D to duplicate it, and then hold down the shift and control key and make this really small something like this now next select the text click one more time until you get this plus over here then I'm going to move it over here zoom in holding down the control key and turning the mouse wheel grab it and place it in the middle of the circle here now if I try to rotate the text you see what's happening and if I want to align it I can grab a guide here and use it to align my text like this now let's remove this guide and uh, what if you want to put the text on a different curve let's say like this not like this but like this well you can do that very easy you can just select the circle and click on this option here and you see how the text is curved now and again I'll need to click two times grab this plus here find the circle and place it over here in the middle and now I can again align it whatever I want now something else here after you create your text you might want to get rid of this path so it doesn't appear in the bitmap that you're going to export if you delete this you see what's going to happen to the text so let's control Z to undo this the way we can do this is just select the circle go to the fill and stroke and just remove the stroke and this circle will be no longer visible it's still here if I make a selection like this you see the selection box here the circle is still here but it's no longer visible again you can do this also with a smaller circle to just remove it and then you can export this if you want to now let's select all these hit the delete key and remove this and show you some thing else I'm going to grab the Bezier tool click here click over here hit the enter key grab this tool select those two nodes hit this option click on this node to select only this one make it symmetric drag it like this and then holding down the control key 
to create this curve here again with the text tool write something longer now again I'm going to select the text and this time I'm going to make it bigger shift click on the path go to text put on path and uh, this managed to fit here but if I select the text grab the text tool and make it let's say 90 you see that the text no longer fits here and we can't see the entire text so one of the ways is to adjust the size from here and manage to fit it but there is another way to do this and by the way you can still edit the text even if it's on the path you can correct mistakes let's say make this letter capital something like this but let's now select the Bezier tool but before that grab the select and transform tool select this text and I'm going to lower selection one step click and this will enable me to select the path and now I'm going to select the Bezier tool and now I can hold down the shift key click here and then I can click let's say here hit the enter key and you see this attach this new path to the old one and our text appeared and of course if you want to you can even adjust the path let's make this node symmetric for example and you see how we can adjust the path and again when you're exporting you can select the path go to fill and stroke and remove the fill and you see the text here so that's it for this tutorial i hope that it was useful subscribe like the video leave a comment visit my channel that's it for now bye